back to SourceFed. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Meg Turner. No! That was rude. I'm sorry. Mars Story! I love all this Mars stuff, Meg, I really do. The new boy on the block, Curiosity, is stealing the show with recent Mars news, but some people forget we've actually sent rovers up there before. And one of them, Opportunity, sent back an image from the red planet recently that is literally puzzling NASA people. The photo taken by Opportunity shows some mysterious spheres that at first look like the iron-rich spherical formations NASA calls Martian blueberries, which were first seen by Opportunity in 2004. But these aren't Martian blueberries. These new spheres are different. Mmm, blueberries. Mm -hmm. Different, you say? But in what ways, SourceFed? You may be asking yourself at home, sitting comfortably, you good-looking person, you. We'll get to that in a minute, but most importantly, the composition on the spheres are completely different. Scientists have no idea how they got there, or what they are. Curious. Itty. Nah, Steve. Thank you. Opportunity's principal investigator, Steve Squires of Cornell University in Ithaca, had this to say about it. They are different in concentration. They are different in structure. They are different in composition. They are different in distribution. So we have a wonderful geological puzzle in front of us. We have multiple working hypotheses, and we have no favorite hypothesis at this time. It's going to take a while to work this out, so the thing to do now is keep an open mind and let the rocks do the talking. Rocks don't talk, NASA nah, dude. on Mars they do. Whoa, mind blown. <laughs> Opportunity is currently exploring a location called Cape York where it found the mysterious spheres. The old clunker was one of two golf cart sized NASA rovers that landed on Mars in 2004. The rovers were solar powered and were only expected to last 90 days on Mars, but both survived for years. Though Spirit, the other rover, stopped communicating with Earth in 2010. But that hasn't stopped old Opportunity from photographing the spheres, which, as Squire says, is, quote, one of the most extraordinary pictures from the whole mission. He also said the spheres seem crunchy on the outside and softer in the middle. Ooh, Eminem should jump on that. New special Mars edition M&M's. Get on that, Mars Corp. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. The company that makes M&M's is called Mars Corp. And this scientist dude was quoted as saying the spheres seem crunchy on the outside and softer in the middle. Steve, are you saying that the spheres on Mars are alien versions of M&M's that some chubby alien kid dropped while riding his alien bike to the alien 7-Eleven to get an alien Slurpee? And that the Mars Corporation is in on the whole thing? It's some crazy alien government conspiracy? And now we're gonna be flagged by the FBI and everyone we know is in danger? Mm -mm. No, I was just thinking about how it was a fun coincidence. I want M&M's. Yeah, me too, man. So what do you guys think these strange, mysterious spheres are? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and click the annotation to go to sourcefed.com and see the five stories of the day and every story we've ever done in the history of space and Mars combined. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Meg Turney. Favorite M&M's in three. One, two, three. Peanut! Oh, oh. Meg, you're the best.